Hello future MDs! This is part 2 of our Filipino Chemistry and Math Review. We will answer numbers 11 to 20 here. I'll just put the link to part 1 in the description below, so check nyo dun sa baba. Special thanks to Simon G. Pecho, siya yung lecturer natin dito. Also, thank you sa Filipino for letting me use their NMAT reviewers. Ilalagay ko na lang sa description below din yung website nila kung saan nyo makikita yung NMAT reviewers. Let's start! Problem number 11. Which statement best describes the Bohr model of the atom? So, sa problem number 1, mali na si A. Kasi pinropotion ni Schrodinger via our Schrodinger model. Mali rin yung choice B natin kasi yung electrons have properties similar to waves. Proposal siya ni Broly. Now, we're left with choices C and D. Try natin tandaan yung figure ng Bohr model. So, ito itsura ng Bohr model. Merong red mass dito na tinatawag natin nucleus at merong mga blue masses na nakapagigit sa kanya na tinatawag natin electrons. Nako titignan natin yung choices. Electrons orbit around the nucleus in set paths yung nagde-describe sa model na to or yung Bohr model natin. So yung sagot sa problem number 11 ay C. Problem number 12. The statement below explains why magnesium is preferred over zinc to protect underground iron pipes in terms of reactivity, except for. So, in scenario sa problem number 12, ay ganito. Meron tayong magnesium block and FE pipe connected or pinagdugtong ng wire. Now, bakit ganito yung setup? Kasi yung iron pipe natin, corrosive siya due to iron loss to the soil. Now, gusto nating maiwasan yung corrosion. Maiwasan yan by this magnesium block. Wherein yung gagawin ng magnesium block, siya ngayon yung magre-release ng ions papunta sa Fe pipe at may iwasan yung, yung corrosion. Now, bakit naman magnesium instead na zinc yung gagamitin? Kasi mas reactive yung magnesium kaysa sa zinc according sa activity series of metals. So, kung titignan natin yung activity series of metals, Mas reactive yung magnesium kaysa sa zinc. So, considered mali na yung choices A, B, and D. So, yung tamang sagot sa problem number 12 ay C. Zinc is more active than magnesium. Problem number 13. The electronic configuration of a particular neutral atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. What is the number of unpaired electrons in this atom? So sa S orbital natin, meron tayong two paired electrons represented by this. Yung T orbital naman natin, meron siyang six paired electrons. Now if we look at our electron configure, electronic configuration, yung 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, paired electrons na sila. Now we're left with 3p2. Yung 3P2 natin, meron pa siyang 1, 2, 2 unpaired electrons. So yung sagot sa problem number 13 ay B, 2. Problem number 14, what volume will 50.2 grams of carbon dioxide gas occupy at SEP, also known as standard temperature pressure? So to solve this problem, kukunin natin yung molar mass ng carbon dioxide natin, which is 44 grams per mole of carbon dioxide. After makuha yung molar mass ng carbon dioxide, kukunin naman natin yung moles ng carbon dioxide, which is around 1.14 moles ng carbon dioxide. And then, para makuha yung volume, imumultiply natin yung moles ng carbon dioxide sa 22.4 liters per mole. Ito yung volume per mole ng ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure. Solving we arrive at 25.6 liters. So, ang sagot sa problem number 14 ay C. Problem number 15. All of the following statements about carbon dioxide are true, except, so sa problem na to, hinahanap natin yung hindi property ng carbon dioxide. Now, alin dyan yung mga property ng carbon dioxide na i-cross out natin, na considered as mali sa problem. Cross out natin yung A, so, totoo yung A kasi yung limestone meron siyang calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate na pag nireact mo sa acid, it will yield carbon dioxide. Mali rin sa problem yung choice B 
So, totoo na may carbon dioxide na extinguisher. Na usually, ginagamit tong carbon dioxide extinguishers to extinguish yung fire from our electronic devices. Mali rin yung number C kasi nagde-dissolve yung carbon dioxide natin sa water. So, paano nagde-dissolve yung carbon dioxide? Itong polar water natin, na-attract siya sa polar areas ng carbon dioxide. Na kung iisipin natin, non-polar yung carbon dioxide. Pero kung titignan natin, meron pa rin siyang dipoles. Kaya lang, nagka-cancel lang. Kaya, considered na non-polar yung carbon natin. Now, we're left with choices D and E. Considered din as mali yung choice D. Bakit? Kasi yung sublimation, di ba from solid to gas. E tama naman na yung carbon dioxide natin, gaseous siya at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. Now, we're left with choice E. So, i-prove natin na tama yung choice E. Density is mass over volume. Yung mass natin, pwede natin siyang i-express as mole over molecular weight. So, i-compare lang natin yung molecular weights ng air and molecular weight ng carbon dioxide. Mapapansin natin, mas mataas yung molecular weight ng carbon dioxide natin, which is 44 grams per mole, as compared sa approximate molecular weight ng air, na roughly 29 grams per mole. So, in lang natin dito na 79% yung nitrogen and 21% oxygen, and negligible yung other gases. Now, the higher the molecular weight, ano yung magiging effect na sa density? Lower yung density. Now, since higher yung molecular weight ng carbon dioxide natin, mas mababa nga yung density niya sa air at a given temperature and pressure. So, tama yung choice E natin na it is less dense than air at a given temperature and pressure. Problem number 16. A gas has a volume of 3 liters at a pressure of 3 atm. What will be the final volume of the gas if the pressure is increased to 5 atm at a constant temperature? So to solve this problem, ito yung gagamitin natin equation for problem number 16. P1V1 is equal to P2V2 or Boyle's Law. Now, paano ba na-derive to? So meron tayong general equation for ideal gas which is PV is equal to NRT. Since constant yung temperature natin at constant din yung moles ng gas, considered constant na yung pressure times volume sa PV is equal to NRT. Therefore, we arrive at yung Boyle's Law natin na P1V1 is equal to P2V2. Using our choices, we arrive at V2. Solving, we get 1.8 liters. So, yung sagot sa problem number 16 ay B. 1.8 liters. Problem number 17. The valve of the open-end manometer shown below contains a gas. True statements about this system include which of the following? So, aalamin natin kung alin sa number 1, 2, and 3 yung tama sa kanila. Tama yung 1 kasi meron tayong atmospheric pressure dito na exerted on the exposed mercury surface na nasa right side ng ating tube. Yung the gas pressure is greater than atmospheric pressure, Tama rin to kasi yung sa gas natin, expressed siya as yung atmospheric pressure plus itong height natin na in terms of pressure ay density times acceleration due to gravity times the height of mercury. Yung number 3 naman na the difference in the height h of mercury, mercury levels is equal to the pressure of the gas, mali siya kasi yung height na ito is equal to the difference ng gas and yung atmospheric pressure natin. So, pag nilipat natin yung pressure ng ATM dito, meron tayong pressure ng gas minus atmospheric pressure. So, that's equal to yung difference ng height natin. So, mali na siya. So, yung tamang sagot sa problem number 17 ay C, 1 and 2 only. Problem number 18, what is the total number of electrons shared in the bonds between the two nitrogen atoms in the following molecule? So, we note lang na yung single bond natin, meron siyang 2 electrons. Yung double bond natin, meron 4 electrons. And yung triple bond natin, meron 6 electrons. Since given tayo ng 2 nitrogen atoms, tapos meron triple bond, sa pagitan nila, 6 yung electrons dyan. So yung sagot sa number 18 ay C, 6. Problem number 19. What is the molarity of a 0.5 liter sample of a solution that contains 60 grams of sodium hydroxide. O since molarity yung problem natin, tapos meron tayong mass ng solute sodium hydroxide, i-convert natin ngayon ito sa mole ng 
solute na mole ng sodium hydroxide. Tatandaan lang natin yung formula ng molarity na mole solute over liter ng solution. So, makoconvert yan by using our molar mass. So, we multiply yung mass or rather, i-divide natin sa mass yung molar mass ng sodium hydroxide. We arrive at 1.5 mole ng sodium hydroxide. And then, we get our molarity at ito yung magiging answer natin. 3 molars ng sodium hydroxide solution. So, 19 is C. Problem number 20. Of the following materials, which contributes most to the production of acid rain? So, yung acid rain natin is produced from the reaction of sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides sa water. So, yung sagot natin sa problem number 20 ay D, nitric oxide. Thank you.